there's been a lot of talk recently because of the Olympic Games about people wanting and needing to keep fit. Well, I'm here at a wonderful new facility in Wallace Park in Lisburn, which is aiming just to help people do that. This is an outdoor gym. Let's go and find out more about it. The facility has been provided by the great outdoor gym company Ireland Limited in partnership with Lisburn City Council. The eight-piece gym provides local people with the chance to work out at their own pace in the fresh air. And some even bring their dogs along with them too. The facility was officially launched by Health Minister Edmund Putz along with dignitaries from Lisburn City Council. Also on hand to endorse the gym were former Northern Ireland and Linfield footballer Glenn Ferguson and ex-Ulster rugby player Bryn Cunningham. Obesity is a ticking time bomb and 59% of us are either overweight or obese. And certainly it's very easy for people to fall into the trap of just putting a few pounds on each year um, to the hour actually obese. And what we do want to see is um, people taking better care of themselves uh, because it does bring about diabetes, it does bring about cardiovascular disease and the consequences of that are very uh, serious in that people will end up with strokes, heart attacks, losing limbs as a result of diabetes, um, kidney failure and, and uh, losing eyesight. So in all those things <coughs> we want to encourage people to participate in re physical recreation and to uh, exert themselves a little, um, <laughs> such as I'm doing now, talking to you and, and trying to cycle at the same time. Uh, the Great Outdoor Gym Company uh, started off back in March 2012. Uh, there was a run-up to the Olympics, which everybody was interested in. Everybody was getting geared up for a bit of more physical activity and into sport. Uh, we tied up with the Great Outdoor Gym Company in England, who are the manufacturer of the equipment and started a partnership. We then spoke to a number of local authorities with regard to getting our first installation. We had a lot of interest, uh, but the, the Wallace Park was our, was our ideal location. We're very pleased to have this facility here in Lisbon. As you know, Wallace Park here has been, we spent over three million pounds in it, with the pavilion, the sports pavilion and the new park here. So it's a great place for people to come and train in and use the facilities. We have the outdoor, outdoor play park here as well. And of course, the parents can come along and use it here. So we're very pleased to have this here in Lisbon for everyone to use. Can you see it being really popular and something that other councillors other councils might want to um, install themselves? Yes, well, basically it has been used extensively here. Um, basically, uh, parents will be getting good feedback from other, um, from the people who use the park here, from, from residents who will come into the park regularly and use it. And yes, I could see this being used in other parks throughout the province. I think it's very good and I hope it's not vandalised in any way because the locals really like it. I come maybe four or five mornings a week walking with my dog and then I meet other friends here and we have a workout, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. Feel, you feel better after it, it sets you up for the day. I think the facility here is great. I think it's a great opportunity for people to get outdoors, you know, a healthy lifestyle, that's what it's all about. You know, just on the back of the Olympics, obviously everybody's been in good spirits, but you want to keep a momentum going, you know, that they're giving that idea of, of being out there, enjoying yourself, um, getting some good active work in, but to keep a momentum running, you need something that's here as a constant, and, and I think it's what you've got here. Okay, Andrew, can I just uh, interrupt you there? Andrew, uh, you're uh, Mr. Uh, fitness model All-Ireland. How important is it to have a facility like this? It's extremely important. The fact that there's so much obesity now, and the, the fact that everyone needs to lose a bit of weight, and this makes it so much easier. Because it's on the doorstep, it's free, and it's anyone can do it. All abilities, any age. I think it's fantastic, you know, um, for people to come down and be able to exercise in the open air. Um, and I'm free, of, free of charge as well. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity for people who can't afford maybe to go to the local gyms, uh, can still come here and get a bit of exercise, and maybe go for a run in the local park and then come in down here and do some body work. You know, and the machines are all great, and the, it's you're able to use your own your own uh, body weight as, as a guide how much exercise you can actually do. So it's, it's a fantastic chance. Any chance of getting into the Paralympics if I do a few more miles? What's, what's your name? Aubrey Bingham from Disability Sports NI. Great. And what do you think of this facility? Yeah, it, look, it looks quite good. Yeah, I'm glad to see there's a few pieces of equipment that people with disabilities can use. So that's very positive. Brilliant. And you'd like to see this like rolled out to other places in Northern Ireland? Yeah, I mean, if, if something like this is going to be utilised by the public and it gets people out in the outdoors and uh, getting a bit fitter and healthier, it uh, definitely is a very positive thing. Mm -hmm.